Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Angela Brennan and today I'm going to be using a couple of dyes. This is the Magnolia Blooms and this is the Layered Script Sentiments, both from Yana Smakula. This is from Spellbinders. These dyes have not been released yet. They will only be released in January 2022. The reason I got them earlier is as, as a previous video I mentioned, I joined the Spellbinders Around the World card making event on the 23rd of October and I got these dies early. I'm going to show you a couple of cards, how I make these dies. This is the inspiration for the cards. So I'm going to make a variation of this in this video. The aim is to cut three die cuts like this, but to keep the inlays in. So the first time I cut it, I didn't put a full sandwich, <clears throat> but I put enough to get the imprint and I put loads of cellophane tape at the back. And some of it, I just fussy cut it myself because the image itself, the outline of the image is not difficult to fussy cut. So um, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to cut another two more images so I can cover the front of an A2 card with these images. So we've got three pieces here. So now we need to cut the outline pieces. Now I'm going to cut the outline pieces. So I'm going to cut it in gold, but I'm not going to keep the inner pieces. I don't need the inner pieces. I'm just going to cut them now. I'm going to take some Distress Oxide ink and use a tiny blending tool. Dot the glue all over and blot it on a non stick paper and adhere it to the white panel, the inked panel. Now, alternatively, you could just use adhesive backed paper when you die cut the gold. There we go. I'll do that for the other two as well. It's not hard to adhere the gold piece because once you anchor the leaves the rest of it falls into place so it's relatively easy and after that you just put a heavy block over it so it just all the finer pieces just get into place to adhere this you do need a fine tipped tip um, glue either this or many other in the market but i tend to use the art glitter glue with a fine tip and it's served me well for ages so now that i've got all of 
these. Now it's it's time to get the sentiment down. For the sentiment, I'm going to use this. This is the layered script sentiments. So you've got um what do you call it? You've got the shadow as well as the fine one. And I understand she's also coming up with um hot foil version of this i think it's just birthday and thanks not the happy and slightly more um uh, more um words if you like but the um shadow dye will match this so that's coming out in january so i think i'm going to put birthday wishes for this one so birthday is going to be die cut So if this black card is an A2 panel, so I'm going to adhere the cards. Now you could do it, you could um, adhere, give it some dimension, but I'm going to adhere it straight onto the card. It's best to turn your card and cut off the excess. I die cut the shadow in black and the this is the shadow die. And I cut die cut the alpha the wood the very very thin word birthday in white cardstock and adhere them together. So the aim is to put birthday and wishes. Birthday wishes. Oh, birthday wishes like that. But I'm going to back this and maybe I can looks a bit a little bit empty here. I'm just thinking whether I should put some flowers here. And some leaves here actually. And back some, put some fun form behind it to give it some dimension before I adhere it to the card. So I added sweet and wishes. I didn't like the silver or the gold. So I put a black and white sweet birthday wishes. This is from All to New Sentiment Strips 1 or 2, one of, one of the stamps. And I added some gems from Spellbinders. And there you go. I really like this card. Hello again. Before I get to the cards, I wanted to show you how I store my, my dies. So I've got the Spellbinders, I label it here at the top with my label maker. Spellbinders Layered Script Sentiments. And this is the Spellbinders Magnolia Blooms. I put any balance die cuts I have here itself so I know where to get it when I need to. I tend to keep, now that I'm doing specific uh, videos, and before I was a YouTuber, I didn't use to keep it by um, company, but now I do. And I also never used to label them, and now I do, so that I can say what products I use. But I, I have a separate um, acrylic storage bin where I put all my spellbinder dies. And that's how I store them, so it's easier to, to, to get to them again. Now let's get to the cards I made. This is the first card I made. I added lots and lots of these gold gems, or fashion gold as spellbinders call them. And I added with a birthday here. I wondered whether the shadow in black was a good idea, but it's done. And I put sweet and wishes. These are sweet birthday wishes. These are from the Autonew Sentiment Scripts 2 stamp set. And the bits that I cut off, I didn't throw them away. All the bits that I cut off, I made another card. So this card... I used um, a die, um, I think it's a memory box die, to just give an imprint of leaves in the background. You can see that, if you can pick that up. And the balance, the off cuts here, so you can see the off cuts from here, as well as here, I've just put it here. And this die set is from all to new. This uh, sentiment is from the dot and boxes 
stem set from old to new. I really like the sentiment, you're imperfectly perfect. That's one. And here what I did is I added the, the um, gems, the gold gems, just in the crevices. I didn't put it all over, like here I did all over. Here I just did it in the crevices to like fill the space in. So this is like a two for one. And here's another card I made. This is more of a paper piecing. And this shiny, slightly shiny white card here is actually from the packaging, from one of the stamp packagings I bought from my favorite things. I just used the stamp packaging to die cut the leaves. I tend to do that. I tend to keep my stamp packaging and use it for something or another. And these obviously are from the same sentiment uh, set from Spellbinders. And I just scattered some silver gems this time from Spellbinders. And here, here's another two for one. Eh? So all the balance, so this is the inlays of all the flowers. The outline of the flower, I made another card and I didn't bother, I didn't put any in, inlays. I didn't left the, the insides of the flowers and these flowers really blank. And this is from, this is, this is my first die from this new company of new to me anyway, the, um, a pocket full of sunshine. I really like their dies. I just got one and I'm going to order a couple more because I really like their dice. It's, it's very ideal for paper piecing. I'm probably going to showcase that here. And these, these I put some of the silver gems and these other ones are from Lucy's Things. I think it's called Ocean. All the products I've used, close-up pictures of these cards are all on my blog. The link to my blog is in the description below. Do head over to my blog to check out the close-up pictures. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And do remember to press the notification bell so you're alerted when a new video is uploaded. Happy crafting. Thank you for stopping by and I'll catch you at the next video. Take care.